Hey guys, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Take a look at the property here behind the office. Um, our family owns quite a bit of property out here. This is my brother's property, and I'm gonna give you a little tour of a self-contained dwelling. He's got a really cool place. He lives in Ohio, and he comes down here and hangs out, um, but totally self-contained. Take a look. So, Chris calls this the Big Red, and it is a enclosed, I guess that's six by 12 trailer. And you can see all the solar panels that he's put up. He made the pavilion, and it's really cool because he used leftover ladders. Um, you can see these ladders that he used to create that. And it's it's been here through, what, three hurricanes? It's secured very tightly. Um, beautiful, just beautiful. What a cool idea. And just using recycled things, you can see all the panels to collect that sunlight. He's got a lot of shade here, but on the top, he's got these are 100 watt panels so on the top he's got 200 watts that kind of face the the north but they pick up that afternoon sun extremely well what a beautiful spot just beautiful step back here so you can kind of see it but can you see the panels up there on the roof on the pavilion and I just love the ladders I mean this is portable he actually moved it about two feet while he was down here this time and he's in there working on something I'm not sure but we're gonna fire up all of the uh, solar and turn on the AC and show you guys that this thing will run and run and run long as there's sunshine hi I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain take a look at what we have here we have solar powered air conditioning got an inverter down here 2000 watt uh, inverter for continuous power uh, have a, an outlet strip here up here by the air conditioner that I've installed all we have to do is turn on the inverter it has power you can hear the air conditioner kicking on that's just the fan but here we go we're going to engage the, uh, the compressor And you got nice, cool AC coming out of there. Oh, that feels good. Right now, I only have two batteries hooked up of the four that I use here. And uh, you can see over here, here's the charge controller. But right now, we have 12.5 volts at the batteries, 12.4. And we've got 10.3 amps coming in to the system from the solar panels. When this is nice and sunny out, we get about 22 amps of current coming into the battery system, which is plenty to keep this air conditioner running all the time. As long as it's sunny, that air conditioner will stay on all day long. All right, right now there's about 14 amps coming into the system from the solar panels. And let's talk about some things that work and things that do not work with solar energy. One thing that does not work is a little portable heater. This is 400 watts. It'll work for about an hour. But when it's cold out in the winter time, you want something that's going to keep you warm all night long. And what works is an electric blanket. Plain and simple. What, what does work, what doesn't. This will work for about an hour. An electric blanket will work for you all night. You'll stay toasty warm. Other things that work real well. Amplifiers for guitars. You can play that 24-7. You could bring in a band in here and they could all have amplifiers and it would work 24-7. Fans. Fans will run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Just on the batteries that I have hooked up right now. And the lighting system I have in here. You could leave those on 24-7. They work great. These are all LED lights, 12 volt system. And you know, it'll draw maybe a couple of amps per hour. So what do we have on right now? We've got the fan, we've got the AC running, 
and what kind of power you got in that show us the power again uh, right now I've got 10 10 amps coming into the system and as far as for what the voltage is here at the batteries right now it's 12.9 volts nice. DC nice. and it's all working great uh, as long as there's sun out uh, during the day this thing will stay charged you don't have to worry about it at all and uh, you'll always have power uh, if you don't need to use the air conditioner well you know in the winter time you don't usually normally need to use the air conditioner but a couple hours a day so you'll have great stored energy for the evening um, as well as all day long so it looks like you can see if you look outside it's cloudy and you can see that voltage dropped right away but if that sun will come back out here while we're making the video it's about ready to rain so but if the sun would come out we'd probably see this thing climb up to 13 plus because like like Chris said if this if the sun's running and I showed you a video before where I just had a hundred watts on the top of the van and two batteries and that AC will run all day long as long as there is sunshine it doesn't I know people commented about this before all oh, the math doesn't add up hey try it out yourself so here's the solar pavilion now I built this solar pavilion up in Columbus Ohio out of repurposed ladders seeing how I do work with gutter and drain and rainwater drainage systems I have lots of ladders and since I don't get up on roofs anymore I wanted to repurpose these ladders and I've made the solar pavilion so I built it up in Columbus Ohio broke it down put it on the van and brought it down here uh, to Florida and have put this back together and it's been through four years now I believe three or four years of hurricanes this thing is hurricane proof I've got this thing to where it's anchored down and it's more like a, a, a stanchion system for like on a ship or a boat, a sailboat. There's no way this thing can collapse. Uh, I have replaced a few sections of the roof just because trees have fallen on top of the roof. There's not much I can do about mother nature. But I think it looks like it fits very well into uh, its surroundings. What do you think? I think it's really cool. This is just an amazing, Chris's property, I think you heard me say before, we have you know several acres here and his property is right here behind the office. And when he first bought this property, this was what, maybe six years, seven years ago? It's been a while. Um, I actually lived over here and I had the RV on this side and it's the same thing but I didn't have any solar power <laughs> I used a generator and noisy and stinky but look at this this is just gorgeous just gorgeous I'm Chris with Atlantic Train reminding you it's easy once you know how Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.